OK, so this one here, you know, they, they often talk about getting a thin slice of data uh, because that's what our instinct is, is, is doing. And essentially, I'm just using my instinct on this uh, and getting the thinnest slice possible. I'm just going to look at their walk-in here. And I'm going to say, because this guy's head is back in retreat and this guy is so straight and his chin is forward, I'm going to speculate that this guy wins and this guy loses, just on that piece of data there. How did I do? Oh! Just shows you, just shows you. Your instinct is, is maybe not as good as people say. So, calm, however, the body is back, the head is back. Uh, way more aggressive, center of gravity really dropped there. That's a little bit out of control, and then he does a lip suppressor after that. He was not, he did that move, and then he wasn't so confident about it. Okay, so I am going to say that this guy here, he loses. There. Success. Way more aggression here, because you can see how he's, he's only just controlling the energy that's there in him. This guy's, oh, and he didn't want to leave that, so, oh, and then another lip suppression there, uncertainty, <laughs> they're having to hold that guy back. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying he loses. Yeah. But here I'm seeing, you know, that her head's right forward, her, her forehead is right Forward. forehead is really important in in combat and the forehead being down because that means blows from above glance off and stay away from the the eyes so often when the head is down the chin is tucked in yeah then that can show more aggression I really don't see a lot of aggression here seems to be a nice nice day out with your trophy I'm going that she's the winner Okay, interesting. So this guy's already started smiling. And often we use often we use smiling as as subservience to make the other person feel good because we don't want their aggression. We want them to feel good and we'll start smiling in places of aggression. So I'm a little worried that he's started smiling and it seemed unsure and certain. It seemed like it's not something he decided to come on with a smile. He decided he should smile at him to, to stop his aggression. Ah, still not, I'm still worried about that smile. Still worried about that smile. Doesn't, I'm worried about this clowning around now with him. They, okay, so he seems to be trying to um, appease. So I'm going to say that he loses. The guy in the hat uh, originally lost. Ah, oh, how did he win? <laughs> yep, yeah, so flicks up the collar. It's quite kind of disrespectful. I don't know, what is he saying? It's like, is this all you can afford? Is that the best? Is that the best you could do? So, very taunting. Yeah, he looks really calm over here, maybe too calm. I don't know, but maybe too calm is is uh, is optimistic. Okay, so I'm predicting that the more animated guy wins. Though I may get it wrong. That's a tricky one. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to say uh, the winner is the person who first took the first pattern interrupt. So the guy who who uh, gave the flowers. Yeah, that's the winner. Now I'm doing terribly. <laughs> so yeah, so I've started to notice that, that I get it wrong when I don't know the usual pattern. You know, sometimes I'm going, well, that was, that was unusual, so that person loses, and then I'm told, well, okay, no, they do that kind of thing all the time. So it just shows you, in reading body language and predicting outcomes, you need a really good baseline. Here, I don't have any baselines at all. So, uh, 
So I'm not kind of surprised that some of the things that surprise me about behavior that I think, okay, that, that won't work out well, when they turn out to be normal, I've got it wrong. So what stands out here is just how calm this individual is here. Just how straight, how calm. It's almost like this one isn't there. Look, she doesn't even flinch on that. It's like it didn't happen. Look, you've got to think, if you can be... We have to, I have to assume that she's there because she's a really great fighter. Else, else, my guess is she just wouldn't be in the fight in the first place. So now I'm going, if you're such a great fighter and you can afford to be that calm, surely you know you're going to win in that circumstance. So I'm putting her absolutely as the, as the winner on this one. Already making a, a victory pose there, uh, grooming his hair, so he's showing off uh, genetic code, uh, already stating victory. He's way more forward, but then that licking of the lips there could show some anxiety. He seems more out of control. Ah, I'm going to say he wins. Ah! What I think I may well have picked out on, though, is the things that would surprise people who understand the form. The surprises for you, the surprises to your baseline. When I don't know the baseline, I'm getting things quite wrong. So, look, body language has to be used as, as part of a full intelligence system. Obviously, fights are incredibly complex, incredibly complex, and anything can happen along the way. Otherwise, who would be entertained by them? Who would watch them if they were utterly, utterly predictable? They're not. Can body language be used to some extent to as part of the prediction? Yeah, I think it probably can. Should you gamble on the body language alone? Well, be my guest, do whatever you like. But ultimately, for most of you out there, you're gonna be in about a 50-50 chance of getting it right based on the body language alone.